Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Holy crap, let me... guys welcome back to the channel today's video is a video that we promised you a little while back ago I got to make sure that my uh, my little gear lever switcher whatever you guys want to call it foot pedal doesn't fall off because it's, it's really loose but look at this look at these people on the boat just chilling having a good time I'm, I'm actually really jealous but in today's video oh, I'm gonna hit this little jump Oh, that was fun. I want to hit it again. Hit it! No. Nope. Not really. Oh, let's go. Let's hit it. Let's try it one more. You guys are probably like, yo, you're a pussy. It's a, it's a little jump. Trust me. This is my first time. First time ever hitting a jump. So it's mad scary. My bike turned off. But yeah, in today's video, I'm gonna talk to you guys about five things that I hate about this dirt bike, the Apollo, the Chinese bike. So for those of you that wanna see it, this is the right video. All right, you ready? video for you it is a little bumpy I don't normally like doing videos on trails just because my GoPro is not the best stabilizer it's kind of bad quality whoa buddy whoa there I like you're crazy he doesn't have a front brake on his bike. So he literally lost control. But yeah, like I was saying, five things that I hate about this bike. If you guys do, I'm not trying to hate on the bike. I have a video talking about five things I love about the bike. But of course, with everything, there's always pros and cons. So basically, in today's video, I'm going to shit. I'm gonna shit on this Apollo bike. But yeah, I keep getting distracted. Okay, five things that I love about, or no, 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 my fault. Five things that I hate about the bike um, is starting off with the first thing, the most noticeable thing is it's a cheap bike, so like a lot of the parts, like they, they, they seem to come off, the screws seem to come off a lot, and I know someone commented one time, they were like, why don't you use like the Loctite uh, like seal or something that you spray on the bolts and it, it kind of locks it in so it doesn't fall out. I haven't tried it yet, these bolts are kind of small, um, but yeah, it, it, it just, it seems like a cheap quality bike to the point where... My, my thing fell off. I can't even change gears. But this is what I mean, like stuff like this. This is this is even a new piece. Like the old one bent, so I had to buy a new one, and I put this new one on. Let me turn it off. But I feel like a lot of the times, stuff like this falls off. Um, the screws get loose. The the actual chain gets loose pretty quick, actually. So the bike is a cheap quality. Like if you're not maintaining it and keeping, like taking care of it. It's gonna break down on you quick. So it's a lot of like work to just take care of to make sure that the bike runs for a long time. But I mean, if you can if you can deal with that and you're used to taking care of stuff and this is like your baby, it, that's easy. Like you're gonna be able to take care of it really easy. Talking about that, this is another thing. Like look, the side panel snapped and it, it's always like hanging off like this, both of these. So it kinda, kinda sucks. Even though it could be an easy quick fix with like glue or something, but I don't want to glue it on or tape it on or anything because it's ghetto. I usually just let it hang. Um, it's usually not too much of a problem if you tuck it in right. But right now it's just being a pain. 
So that's the number one thing that I dislike about this bike. The, the next thing has to be the carburetor. A lot of people talk about the carburetor sucking. I mean, the bike bogs a lot. And what I mean by bog is like, what I mean by bog is like when you want that power to be there, when you want it to be there where you like gun it, like right there, I just gunned it, watch. There's nothing, it bogs hard. There's no power. So when you want something like that, um, it just, it, it sucks because there's a, a lot of the times you try to get that power, but it's not there. So that's one of the downsides to this bike. I think it's the carburetor. I did buy a new one, but I'm not putting it in yet because I'm gonna do a top speed run on this bike. It's completely stock. And then I wanna start doing modifications to the bike to see if I can actually get the power to like, increase and feel good but that's bringing on to the third thing that i hate about the bike is is the power i mean it is only a 125 it's a smaller bike but most like 125 name brand bikes most of those bikes that are like 125 like honda or kawasaki or anything like that ktm they they're just a lot faster like you can feel more power there i mean this bike does have good torque you can still wheelie on it and stuff it's just when i'm riding with him on trails and stuff i love it like i can keep up but on the streets like riding home like he he dogs me i mean his is a 250 but still like i just don't feel like i'm going 50 miles per hour like the website says it goes 40 to 50 miles per hour i feel like i'm going like 35 maybe 40 miles per hour but then again, I am going to buy a thing right here so that way I can tell you guys my speed. Like, I'm not complaining because the bike doesn't keep up with a 250 because I know it's a 125. top speed and when it comes to like long distances I don't want to sit here in full throttle the whole ride to be able to go like the speed limit like I don't know I think this is just something that I'm being picky on um, because first of all it is a dirt bike you're not supposed to ride it on the streets and stuff like that but it would be nice if the bike was faster that's just one of the things that I personally these are all personal dislike about the bike to the next thing is the fact that it only has four gears and they're all up like at first I liked it because it's very easy to learn on like it's a very good beginner bike to learn on but once you learn it it's like you kind of want to have that fifth gear so you can actually bang through the gears and stuff um, you want to be able to have that first gear as being all the way down at the bottom neutral like halfway up because you want to get used to it because that's how most bikes are that's how 90% of the bikes are out here um, so you want to get used to something like that because if you go to ride like your friend's actual bike You're gonna be confused a little bit by it. It just sucks that it's only got four gears See now I feel I just actually feel really bad talking shit about this bike because The bike is an amazing bike like I feel like at this point I'm trying to find things That suck about the bike, but there's not really much to hate like a lot of people do hate on the bike because it's a Chinese bike and that sucks if you do get this bike and your friend has a name brand bike they're probably gonna make fun of you and be like your bike sucks blah, blah 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 so i guess the hype or the rep around this bike i guess that's the thing that sucks but i mean other than the carburetor uh how cheap the bike feels it's an amazing bike i can't even talk shit on it and i know the video's titled the five things that i hate about this bike but i don't want to like as i'm making this video i don't want to sit here and like shit on the bike for when I don't even hate the bike like that. Like I feel like I'm forcing myself to think of things that I dislike about the bike. I think I just like mine because I take care of it and the only few things is the bogging like full throttle and it doesn't respond or it bogs. Um, that's one thing that I really hated when I first got it. Another thing is like the cheap quality, like the gear right here falls off, the brakes, things fall off the bike quick so you gotta like really maintain the bike you got to pay attention to it and take care of it um again the speed but you can't really complain about the speed because it is a small pit bike this is considered a pit bike not really a dirt bike so it's not meant to go crazy fast it's just meant to like have fun on and just bullshit with and i do have fun and bullshit on it um another thing is 
the clutch the clutch is really really stiff and it's not adjustable like if you see look how far the clutch is from me like it's pretty far and, and not just that but it's like it's a stiff clutch like you have to put in some power into pulling it back now I think you can loosen it or make it easier or buy a new clutch line um, I could do that but I'm just talking about factory buying the bike stock things that I dislike that thing sucks um, I had to change the oil right when I got it which sucks because there's more mains that you have to do that you shouldn't have to do you should just be able to get a bike and ride it from the cops or anything like that this bike is you're gonna really have to hit trails like you're not gonna be able to do it on the street so that's one thing that really sucks about it but other than those few things I'm not gonna say any shit on the bike because I love the bike the bike is actually an amazing bike Thing. like this is a 125 most 125 bikes I can pop a wheelie this fast this one let me try it. I'm gonna try to drop to second gear watch I'll lean all the way back it doesn't pop like it even dropping the clutch doesn't pop it now let me go into a higher gear jumps and all this crazy stuff but for now um that's it you guys thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace